All right, what's up guys? We're back today, working on the first gen again. Uh, so, fortunately, um, I've been having this issue where uh, I let off the throttle, um, you know, at kind of high RPMs, I let off the throttle quickly and there's like a clunk, something moving. Um, so, I just ordered new motor mounts. It needs them anyways. That could be it. That could not be it. I ordered new motor mounts from First Gen Industries. Uh, the like kind of solid-ish ones. Um, new transmission bushings. Um, transmission mount bushings. Um, and I think actually it's neither of those things. Those will help, but um, I think I have a rear axle pinion yoke issue. Um, I think that the rear axle pinion yoke is uh, worn out, um, or it's just the wrong yoke um, for the 1410U joints. Apparently some people have had a similar issue where the 1410U joint is in the front of the drive shaft, but in the rear it's a different U joint. So, um, I have ordered a 1410 rear pinion yoke, which should work because there's 1410 U-joints. It's 29 spline, which is a correct spline. Um, yeah, let me show you guys, uh, what's off about that. All right, so, back here, rear. U joint, you can see this uh, this little ear is against the end of the U joint. But up here, there's a gap, and so I'm thinking this is a different style U joint uh, pinion yoke. So, um, this is too short. And some people also said that it could be that this has, like, bent, stretched, worn out, whatever. Um, but I came under here this morning, and this was loose. It was jiggling around. Uh, so I tightened these up. But that's not really a great solution. Um, so... I ordered the new yoke today, and we will see if that solves our problem. But, today's topic, <clears throat> main topic, are Metal by Charlie, aka New Era Performance, uh, door handle plates. Mine aren't too bad. They're not too, too bad. No actual cracks yet, but the paint is splitting and he's going to a new version. So he had these ones on sale. So I was like, ah, I've been looking at them for a while. I may as well grab a set. So we're going to take this door panel off. Screw down here, screw down here. Um, pull the door handle off with that. It's a three eighths, at least for me, it's a three eighths. And pull that off, get the door handle out. Uh, and then it just pops off. We'll pull these out. They come out from the other side. And then, uh, I'll show you guys when I'm getting these in. All right, super nice. I actually have all my clips that pop into these holes, except that one that fell on the ground. Um, but we'll put that back on. Uh, so you can see the power windows, uh, right here. The same on the other side, pinch them in comes out that way and then you turn it sideways and pull it through um so i'll do that 
and then I'll show you the door handle plates. All right, so we're off here. Some people say to take this off, but I don't think you have to. Um, in here, you can see that nut right there. Let me see if I can, right there and right there. And I will tell you what size those guys are in a second. You just pop those two out and then your door handle will come off. Oh, you do have to take this off. Yeah, you do have to take this off to take the door handle rod off. So I'll pop this off and show that to you guys. All right, so these clips are kind of weird. I just kind of pushed down on them and pulled them out. Because they're not like, I don't know, they're weird. But uh, yeah, it comes out pretty easily. And then you got to pop this that way and that'll pop right out. I might be able to do that you guys let me get my right hand there she goes and pull that out and then we can get our one, two bolts. Oh no, they're definitely like three eighths, 10 mil, maybe half. I don't know, I can't get a great look at them, but. Oh, look at this gap. I wonder if this will fix that. I never noticed that actually. That's kind of jank, but okay. I wonder why it's like that. Let's, I'm going to get that off and investigate it. All right. Uh, I'll let you guys know what size those are. All right. So these are 7 sixteenths. Both of them need a nice extension. And if I can get on there, reach in, break it loose. get the other one and we'll pop it out all right here it is got the door handle off i've always when i saw these on his website i was always like man those would look kind of cool on the outside the set on the outside with the door handle over them you know that would look kind of cool i think have new era performance right on the outside because he's got new era performance on them now but like they're in your fucking door panel so <laughs> no i mean i get it it looks cool with that carved into it but i just think dude i think they'd look pretty cool out here ignore the uh letters from the old company that had this truck i gotta get them taken off but well i did get them taken off they were red but i gotta get the outlines taken off um so yeah i think they'd be like I might try that actually someday order a second set and put them on the outside and have the set on the inside extra strength but also I think it just looks cool but we'll throw them on the inside all right she's back on my gap closed up oh shit I'm a dumbass I didn't put the fucking, the, the, uh, the rod back on for this. <laughs> All right, well, I'll go in from that side and open it up. All right, I got her popped open. We will get this rod back in there. Pop it on there. That's kind of nasty, but. Another look, good and in there. 
I'm so happy that it closed up this gap. That's much nicer. But let's see. Ooh, look at that. So nice, and it's very, very sturdy. So that's good. I like that. All right, let's go. Well, we'll put this back together, put everything back on, and uh, go do the other side. All right, so I wanted to show you guys this. This will only go through one way. At least when I was taking it out, it would only go through one way. So you put the power lock side through first. Because if you try to put the that end in first, the wires just don't get in the way and you have to kind of crush them. Try to force it through, so don't do that. Put the lock side through first and you'll have a much easier time. All right, when you go to put it back on, make sure that all the clips are lined up with the holes and then just give it a good whack. They pop back in. Also for this, it's down in there. You gotta take a screwdriver and just pry her out like that and then put the bolts in a little ways and then you can take the screwdriver out and just hold it out with the uh, door handle. All right, so my other side didn't have this, but next to the door handle, this side does have a screw there. Um, so I'll probably get one for that side, but remember to take them out. All right, I had a couple clips come off on this side. So, all you gotta do, slide them back on. Okay, and I'm missing a few on this side, but let's see, where do I wanna put these? We got three on the bottom, one on that side, one on that, uh, two on that side, three on that side, all right, we'll put it. We'll put it right there. Kind of make them as even as possible. And we'll throw it back on. All right, so these are kind of shitty on my truck. So I'm gonna see if my father can make me some out of wood because he does that kind of stuff. I do metal and he does wood. So let's see if he can make some for me. All right, he's gonna make me some wooden ones. So I'm gonna go get that one off. That'll be a nice little upgrade. All right. Got it all buttoned up. Door handle plates in. This door doesn't open quite as nicely, but, oh. We gotta fix those clips. They're not in perfectly, but. All right, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I really recommend getting these door handle plates. They're really nice and they'll save your doors. So, all right, see you in the next one.